Good morning. Welcome to the Carla Marie and Anthony Show. My name is Anthony. I'm Carla Marie. Uh, we are down to one camera today. It was real weird. When we started today's show, the countdown, we had three cameras, and they were all working great. I left the room. Carla Marie stayed in. I came back. I didn't touch anything. And uh, all of a sudden, we had one camera left. So, Carla Marie, would you like to explain yourself? I was doing my mascara. Today, we have been moving at a snail's pace. We have been forgetting everything. I mean, we were like dragging ass this morning. Yep. Getting out of the house. So, I did something really dumb yesterday. Oh, well, there we wait, go. We got a hype we, train going. We get out of the house, and Anthony realizes he forgets his phone, so he goes running in, and I was like, <gasps> my makeup. And then I go, like, we're just running. Like, if anyone was watching us leave the house today. Yeah. Then we got stuck behind a school bus. Although the school bus. So, keep in mind, I would never. Oh, another level of the hype train. I would never condone going around a school bus no. when its lights are on. Like, that's you could kill a, a child doing right. that. Yeah. Right? So, we, we stopped behind this bus. And it's a shorter bus. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I don't see any kids. The bus isn't moving. I'm like, okay, well, maybe the kids need some time. All good. And then I read the back sign of the school bus and it says, um, unlawful to pass when red lights are flashing. The yellow the lights, lights were, were flashing. flashing. So, and from the angle that we pulled onto the street, you normally how, you know, the stop sign pulls out of the, the school yeah. bus. I couldn't see if it was pulled out. So I creeped around and it wasn't. So I started, I very, very slowly creeped by this school bus. Turns out the driver was just reading, it looks like a prayer book of some sort. Um, Gee, I, honestly, if you're a school bus driver, you should start your days with prayers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I don't is, think we did anything illegal. We should get Scotty B on the horn. What does Scotty B know about school buses? He's a school bus driver. Oh, I forgot he was a school bus driver. <laughs> he is a school bus driver. Still? Yeah. Uh, How? He's at work at 4 o'clock no, in the morning. he does the pickups. Oh, the evening shift. Yeah. Oh. He's a graveyard shift school bus driver, oh, huh? The graveyard <laughs> Um, You said you did something dumb yesterday. Yes. <laughs> I worked out for three and a half hours yesterday. And I think that's why it was, it was so hard for me to get out of bed this morning. And if you're wondering, Anthony, why would you work out for three and a half hours? That seems excessive. Uh, it was basically... My full workout that I was supposed to do yesterday, scheduled to do yesterday, and maybe I, a half or three quarters of the workout I was supposed to do the day before. But I knew since we don't do this show on Wednesday, I had some extra time. I'd woken up early, got to the gym earlier than I normally do. Mm -hmm. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do both of these. I'm going to finish it and stay on schedule. So it was three hours. Three hours. In total time there, it was probably three and a half in terms of, like, chatting it up with some peeps. I was and able then, to get to Orange Theory, yeah. shoot a video at Orange Theory, do an Orange Theory workout, shower, dry my hair, get dressed, send some emails, and then go back and get Anthony at the gym. Yeah, according to my uh, Fitbit app here, so I, where is it, uh, day? Lisa said, I did about 30 minutes. That's all I can handle right now with life. That's great. According to my Fitbit app, I burned like 2,500 calories in that one session. So what most people are supposed to burn in a day, I did in just about three hours. That's absurd. Yeah. 4,200 for the day, though. And you then you didn't like probably eat properly. No. So the other thing I'm doing, and I actually do like this. It's it's not the easiest, but I um, this workout plan that I'm doing also has a diet plan that goes along with it. Now, it's not to lose weight necessarily. Um because you can gain, gain weight during this, but you are supposed to lose, like, fat, if you will. Um, there's a couple stages of it, and I'm in the final stage where you actually do some intermittent fasting as well. So I'm doing intermittent fasting for 16 hours. I have an eight-hour eating window. So I didn't actually eat properly before that workout. <laughs> Okay. But that's fine. I'm I'm used to it. I don't need to eat before I work out. I feel fine when I do that. Um, I used to be like that. Now I need a little snacky. That's fine. Melissa said, I am 30 weeks pregnant and all I can do is walk up the stairs nice. without losing my breath. How many is how many is a pregnancy? How many weeks? 85? 42. 400? 42. Okay. So she's she's pretty far along then. 
Am I right? I don't know. AMS said, I had a migraine yesterday, so I canceled my workout and got a 60-minute neck and shoulder massage instead. And that's important. Oh, 40 weeks pregnant. Sorry, I didn't want to curse you. It's 42. <laughs> <laughs> that is important. I mean, I, I felt great yesterday, so I was able to sit there and do the whole workout. Um, I also enjoy being there. So. Um, sir. Yes. We got a birthday. Whose birthday is it? Megan. Oh. Well, there we go. So it, funny enough, uh, but you're in a Megan's on a cruise watching. That's pretty awesome. What 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 would you like me to do about that? This is crazy. Oh, okay. Um, you know when you go through your Spotify Wraps, and if you have the volume on on your phone, it'll place a lot of the the it's most so played fun. songs while you're looking over things, even if they don't come up in your Spotify Wrap. Yeah. And almost all of mine were Arabic songs. I, as I was playing through. Also, this didn't help that Anthony was going through his rap at 11 p.m., mm-hmm. playing all of the songs, walking around the house dancing. And yeah. I'm like, don't listen to this before bed. You're never going to sleep. I actually slept pretty well, though. You were playing what, Rum and Red Bull? or? Uh, there was a bunch. There was a bunch of Soka, like, dance hall songs, and then there was a bunch of Arabic songs. Yeah, a little bit of everything. My Spotify rap makes no sense. Mine makes perfect sense. Especially because when you go through my top songs and my top albums, In my top category, they actually don't line up. So my top songs, none of my top songs are on my top albums. And none of my top songs or albums are part of my top category. So Jen said, mine was Pussycat Dolls because of Anthony's Girls Rule playlist. It's a good playlist. It's a very good playlist. I was listening to it the other day. I mean, no surprise. Mine, to to no one's surprise, sorry. I was in the top 3% of Taylor Swift listeners. Mm-hmm. I did see someone message me, said they were in the top 0.1%. That's a lot. That's impressive. Um, I All top five songs were Taylor Swift songs. A lot of it was I was prepping for the Eras tour. Mm-hmm. And when you look at all of the artists, I mean, Shania Twain was a top one for me. And you went to her show. And I went to her show. I listened to Shania Twain for three days straight to make mm-hmm. sure I was ready. Same thing, Ed yeah. Sheeran. So that makes sense. Fall Out Boy, standard. I had the months that I, because it tells you like what month you listen to your most listened to albums or artists. And it was the same thing. AFI, I listened to them a ton before I went to the AFI show. Census Fail, I listened to them a ton before I went to the Census Fail show. Um, I did not listen to a ton of Ed Sheeran. Because I was playing it on mine in the house. That's true. Um, Your brother, Michael, said he's in the top 4% of Harry Styles listeners. That's pretty good. (laughs) I was in the top, like, point something percent for census fail. So I got the, the census fail message. Oh, Did you I get the video message? From Taylor. They're actually pretty cool. She was wearing, by the way, I got to pull it back up. She was wearing, like, your thick chain that you have. The Cuban link chain? Which was kind of weird because she was wearing it with her lover bodysuit. That makes sense. She definitely doesn't wear that on stage. No, but that's it's a, like, common style. The bodysuit or, no, like, no, the... No, 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 like her blinged out bodysuit oh uh, uh, uh. <laughs> no. i thought it was like a regular bodysuit could we talk about bodysuits for a second <laughs> done. i love that you just tried to tell me that it's a common well style. you made it sound like it was like this crazy thing you should have been a little you should have said i the lover bodysuit i shouldn't have to decide. i don't know what the lover bodysuit is you went to the aristore movie yeah okay we're watching do you think every movie that i see i remember every single you don't actor's know what outfit? the lover bodysuit is she switches outfits 18 times not 18 actually no, whatever no. A lot. Does she switch outfits per era? No, there's multiple outfits per era. No. Uh, she just switches per era, and then there are, like, take off the t-shirt for, like, the... They're convertible, like zip-off are, pants. They are, and I need these. Um, I was going to show you the lover body suit, but I don't need to show you. So, I do like how Spotify... Um, Sorry. I do like how Spotify wrapped is people aren't making as much fun of it as they used to. I think people have just let themselves lean in and say, you know what? This is the music. I mean, this is part of the reason why I converted from Apple really? to Spotify. It was that and John Camucci. Two things were happening once. Okay. Everyone was posting their raps, and I was like, I want this. What were you listening on, Apple? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, mad. I was like, I want this. And then I was listening to um, Almost On Air with Erica Shea and John Camucci, mm-hmm. and they were talking about different things. They were like comparing Spotify or they had a joint Spotify playlist. And I was like, I want to have fun. I have a Spotify playlist with my cousin, Michelle. I know, we don't have one. No. 
I don't think I would want your joint playlist. No, I think we need one with the content kings. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many people you could include. Like, what if we had a whole community that would playlist? That would be so fun. That would be kind of cool. Um, but could we talk about, you mentioned Taylor Swift's bodysuit. Oh, yeah, you said you wanted to talk about something. And for people who don't know, the reason we brought that up was because if you are in the top whatever percent of certain artists, they'll give there's like a pre-recorded thank you message from yes. them, a video message. Yeah, it's so cool. Carla Marie got Taylor Swift. I got Buddy from Censusville, <laughs> who was just in his living room, um, who I didn't need a, a dedicated message from. I went to high school with him, so... I know what he looks like. Okay. Um, but you mentioned Taylor Swift was in her bodysuit. Yeah, her love her bodysuit. I've seen a growing trend in the gym of women working out in full, like, like workout, one-piece one <clears throat> bodysuit type things. So do th- those don't count as a bodysuit or do they? They are. It's okay. like a jumpsuit, I guess yeah. you would say. So the bodysuit I'm talking about is very much just like a one-piece bathing suit. Okay? Okay. That's what I was thinking. But yes, this is like a thing I but see. But it's like pants and a tank top and a attached. Tank top attached. Yeah. I don't get it. Because first of all, I can't find pants and a top <laughs> that fit on their own, yeah. let alone together. Well, I get I think the first step is you have to be ready for like body forming clothing, right? Like you have to be willing to put that type of clothing on. Could and you don't tight? wear type tops at the gym. Not normally. You wear like a tank top. Yeah. My question about the, the I don't know if it's a newer trend or just what I've noticed. I mean, it's very 80s. It does look 80s. It can be comfortable. And now, wear whatever you want to the gym. If you feel good in it or you think you look badass in it, by all means. And I, I give women a lot of credit. You guys take some chances at the gym. There's a girl who wears like a Tarzan top. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like a sports bra, but it's only got one shoulder. Oh, yeah, that's... Like, be trendy these days. Yeah. I can't do that. It just doesn't seem practical, but not, but not wear what we want. Supportive. What seems less practical, though, like, what if you got to run to the bathroom is the full body suit. Which I do, like, four times in a workout. And it, and it also, I think the way you move your body sometimes, I feel like I'd just have a constant, like, wedge the whole time. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think there's a single person in here that could say, I love those one-piece things for working out. Uh, Diana said, I hate Tarzan tops. Is that what they're actually called? <laughs> Tarzan tops? Because the woman who wears it, she's Once always wearing, they're, they're usually like <laughs> earth tones or like a, a like an olive green. So it looks legitimately uh, like, like a Tarzan top. Yeah. I would love for you to describe women's workout clothing for me. What do you mean? I just did. I know, but like you've talked about the ones that have like the design on the butt to make butts look bigger. Yeah, they have the shading on the bottom. I got a pair of shorts like that from Gymshark. You got shading shorts? Um, I think I need to exchange them though. It, the shading shorts are weird. I mean, like, again, wear what you want, wear what you're comfortable with. But you're also lying blatantly. Like, what if I had, what if I just put like a bulge in my gym shorts sure over my over that. my ween? I'm sure guys do I that. don't think, I don't think guys do. Sure do. do. I don't know. Weird ones. And to be fair, I don't care what the hell the shorts look like or what shading they got on them. It takes forever to find. Like, I've been struggling lately to find anything that fits. Mm -hmm. I had Athleta and Gymshark gift cards, and I ordered a bunch of stuff with Black Friday, and everything has to go back for a different size. Yeah. This is now the second or third time I have tried different things from both places, and nothing fits me anymore. I mean, every company has their own guidelines yeah but everything is small too tight and a medium too big so you have to find the right company i know and that's why now i get all of my gym shorts from fabletics i don't really get anything else i get joggers and gym shorts from fabletics they don't fit like they don't the women's stuff does not stretch it's not the best material but it just they fit me right so they're fine and now i have i've probably got seven pairs of gym shorts from fabletics just from them and that's all i really wear and I was going to order more, but this is one of the things I hated about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. They were like 60% off everything. And when you go to the website, everything is sold out. And I think that happened they, to me with skims. I think they were holding out and now they're going to put everything yeah. back on sale because like, they, 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 they let you uh, wet your whistle a little bit. So skims, Kim Kardashian's company mm-hmm. only does a sale twice a year. I have a gift card for my birthday, which is in March, which I have not used. And I was like, perfect. I'm going to use it now. They don't put everything on sale. They only put certain things on sale, certain colors. Mm-hmm. And then I go to do it and every, my whole, 
All the sizes are gone. Yeah. How much are skims? It depends. Like underwear is 15 bucks a pair. But is that good or bad? I don't know what, how much girls, women's underwear is. God bless you. It depends because if you get it at Target, it's not that. <laughs> bless you again. But yeah, you can, Monica's right. You can get skims at Nordstrom's. That's my, Nordstrom. That's my problem. Like, you can't return most of the stuff from skims. Why? Because it's up your butt crack? Basically, but it's like, oh, how am I supposed to know what my size is yeah. in a one piece? You got to go to the store and try it on. Also, but we never. You, are you supposed to try on skims in the you store? You can. Normally, it'll be like, try these on with your underwear. Yeah. But we haven't talked about the Kim Kardashian nipple bra. The nipple bra? I don't even know what you're talking about. You were the one that showed me. You were like, this has to be fake. And it was a new Remind bra me. from Skims that had built in nipples. Oh, okay, so it okay, firmly yeah. looked like your nipples were yeah. hard. Yeah. And I was like, I have spent my entire life wearing nipple covers. Yeah, I don't know Is that if that's the thing. There's also nipple covers now that make it look like you got a piercing. I just can't. It has like a little bar that goes across. I didn't see that. Yeah, someone posted on social the other day. Uh, but I, I do want to get to the thing that I put in the notification today. Um, is it okay for the parents out there? Is it okay to make fun of your kids online? And the reason I bring this up is there's a basketball account that I follow. It's like a sneakers account, actually. And they posted a mom. She's, you know, she's doing those videos, like the TikTok videos where you're doing your makeup, but you're also telling a story. Yes. At the same time, she's doing one of those. I can't do that. <laughs> Thank you. And she's talking about how her kid said... He's going to be the next LeBron James or something. And she starts berating her child. And she goes, and I said, do you mean LeBron James, the actor? Because LeBron James, the basketball player, she goes, your, your dad is your coach and you don't even play on the, on the <laughs> basketball team. And she's just ripping into this kid about how bad he is at basketball. And, uh, and I was like, man, I feel, I actually do feel yeah. bad for kids growing up today because they have to deal with their parents being idiots publicly. Not just behind closed Don't get doors. me wrong. I was an idiot kid, and I'm sure my mom made fun of me to her friends. I'm sure my mom made fun of all of us, to our aunts, to our uncles, to her friends, to her hairdresser, whoever. But it wasn't recorded and posted for the world. You know? Every kid deserves to be made fun of a little bit. But that's a little excessive, in my opinion. I The posting it on public part like social media i guess yeah. like that's a little too much saying that to your kid though i think it's fine so you think you can do it if it's your kid it depends how old they are saying it to them not publicly oh, no, that's, but that's that's the debate here i think you can talk to your kid and let them know like what the should. reality of the situation is maybe yeah. don't kill their dreams if right. they're a teenager right um <laughs> melissa said i hate participation trophies if you suck you suck yeah no no and i agree with all of that this is like the complete opposite of it though this is, if you suck, I'm going to berate you to the world to a bunch of strangers, even though you're my child. Of course. That's the unfortunate part. Because, like, if I posted something making fun of you, that something you were sensitive about. Yeah. You could be like, take that down. Yes. Like, that kid isn't really going to say, who knows if the kid even has social media. He's just going to sit in his room and cry. I'm sure he has social media. Yeah. And that's going to be even worse. You're watching your mom on social media make fun of you to the world. No. There's a chance that kid has a sense of humor and he's totally fine with that. Maybe. There's a chance, with as with anything on social media, there's also the uh, chance that it's fake. I will always, there's there are certain things, almost everything actually, that I watch on social. And I'm like, no, not real. No. I was actually talking to my cousins about it around Thanksgiving. They were talking about some TikTokers. It's like a dad and son duo. The son like pranks the dad a lot, whatever. They're actually in a Gillette commercial now. That's so wild. Um, where it's like a FaceTime call almost. Okay. And my cousin was like, oh, that, that account's so funny. And my brother Michael and I were like, that account is all fake. It's all scripted. It's all scripted. And good for them for making money. And we know I just, this. I don't like those accounts. They just, they're very cringy to me. I hate it. We know this because we grew up in a time where we started, we would do pranks. Like mm -hmm. you would prank phone call everyone from your house. Uh, I did that. I, 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 I pranked some people. But then like our pranks... We did pranks, and they don't look like that. And even when we started filming, like, if you would film a prank, it would never be like, hey, Dad, guess yeah. what I did today? I also hate the ones where it's like, 
I caught my husband cheating, or I caught my wife cheating, and this is how I told them I like, know. And then it's, we talked about this, where they just have the sign. It's some stupid, elaborate thing. Just, no, you my didn't. My mom watches all of them on Facebook. That's who they're built for. I know. And I start, like, every once in a while, if I'm on Facebook Marketplace, I accidentally click the video button on the bottom, mm -hmm. and it starts taking me through those. And I'm like, how do I say no? Just don't give me these. When I was in Vegas with my dad um, at night, he started going through his Facebook yeah. on his phone. My and, mom does it on her iPad. And uh, God bless you. Mm -mm -mm. You know you're not off camera when you do that, right? I was moving away from the mic. Oh, okay. I thought you were trying to get off camera. Okay, it's not like you see the boogers. I'm just saying. Um, so my dad starts going through Facebook and going through all his videos, and obviously the volume is on. And it's just some of the stupidest... I mean, videos in the world. We should do a Twitch stream where we like pull them up on here. I don't, but I don't want to ruin oh my, my algorithm with their trash. Every and I'll I'll actually ignore some videos from my dad because I don't want those videos impacting my algorithm. Okay. What are you What are you reading? I was going to see. Oh. If they, so a lot I of feel like you got just sucked into a Facebook hole. It's My 15-year-old is, is pregnant. I'm, I'm about to tell her. We went to the clinic together. Oh, and it's this music. Always. Yeah. Okay, that's not because she was throwing up. This is definitely fake. Look at this man's face. Like, her doctor just called me. But but it's gonna keep you watching. And the fifteen year old is swinging on the swings in the background. How do you fast forward? Oh, it's a three minute video. Yeah, don't don't. It's because now you're only gonna get those videos if you watch the whole thing. That's how this algorithm works. If you watch a full video, it will think that you want all of those videos. But why are there? Look at the back of my. And who's face. filming it? The, the whole dog thing. is pregnant. I can't believe you just wasted my life like that. <laughs> I hate, but it also says my 15 year old pre hey, is pregnant, which means your 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 15 year old dog is having babies. Just banging it out. All right, could we be done with this video, please? I can't make it stop. <laughs> I'm good comments. How dare you think this was amusing in any way? I work with pregnant teenagers every day. It's a real issue and difficult for all involved. That's five minutes I'll never get back. Yep. And you just, you look at all the people you just put through that torture, Carla Marie. I just wanted to see what it's like. <laughs> and now I, I hope the next time you get on Facebook, no, it's all those videos. No, no, no. That's, there's a separate, so I don't know, you don't like do the Facebook anymore. No, I don't. Neither really do I, unless it's Marketplace. Yeah. The bottom is like your regular feed, the OG Facebook. Yeah. Then it's like videos. That's separate yeah. stuff. So that's almost like the video feed is like your TikTok feed. Oh, that's what Instagram does the same thing. Yes. Yeah. No, you don't have bottom things on Instagram. Like Instagram, about? it's one feed. And then, yeah, if you tap into a reel, you can scroll. This no. is all. Are you kidding me? Go to Instagram. Is my Instagram set up different? Maybe. Maybe you have a stupid Apple. Uh... Look, so this is home. This is everyone you know. Okay. So on Instagram, home, search, and then this button is to go just to reels. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's exact. But it's kind almost of, the but same like it's thing. just videos as its own. What do you think reels are? I know that, but what I'm saying is, like, this is people that you know. Okay. I, yeah, but in home, I get people I don't know all the course, time. Yes. So this is my friends. Just admit that you lost this, and I was right. No. I, I'm right. You don't use <laughs> right. the Facebook. I'm done with looking at your Facebook. I feel like I'm talking to a mom right now. Does my Instagram look like that? And I mean a there mom. I mean my mom. Yeah, wow, that was rude. <laughs> I just want everyone to know Anthony's hating on women that no. are moms. Mellow, I've never used the Reels button. I don't either. I, like, wait until I get sucked into a Reel. Yeah. Um, I think when I'm bored, I've done it on flights. I don't, I've don't. i never, never, I can promise you, purposely hit that button. I've done it a handful of times. Not often. It's also not, I never. Mean, when I go to Instagram, it's generally just to check DMs. Yeah. And post. And then I scroll for a little bit, and that's about it. And then, like I said, I have to ignore certain messages from my dad because I know that if I click those videos... It's going to ruin my algorithm. I've told him that too. He'll say, did you watch that video I sent you? And I say, no, because I'm not letting you infect my, my algorithm. 
Yeah, those, but those Facebook videos, like, they're basically soap operas. They're mini soap mm-hmm. operas. And that's who they're targeting. My yeah. mom, who is watching her soap operas yeah. and also watching these videos. And listen, good, good for them if they're making money on it. If they've found an audience that willingly or unwillingly has to watch their yeah. videos, God bless them. But, like, it's... It's all of that. Or it's like, my husband's going to kill me because I did whatever. And it's like, she got a different mayonnaise. Yeah. That's all what Facebook is. Gotta, gotta love the uh, the socials. Anyone, and anytime you see someone with a sign, it's immediately going to be awful. Also, it's going to have that music. That someone said something like, now go recycle all that paper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am glad that that video ended with a dog, not that kind of weird man and a 15-year-old. Which would have been his daughter, I guess, but still very weird situation. Do you remember when like videos were just on YouTube and they would be like jump scare videos? Yeah, and you'd get pranked. Or Andy Mil- uh, Milanakis <laughs> just doing raps. What's the first viral video that you remember? Immediately, the thing that first popped to my head was Charlie bit my finger, but there was something before that. I think the first one that I remember is that it's the animation. Um, where it's like the fire the missile animate. I'm gonna. I don't even know how to describe it. So take a nap and then fire the missile. Jaeger bombs. So take. You remember a that nap guy? And then. Oh. You do. You're typing in yep, the lights. I, thing. I hit that and didn't. You're coding in the lights. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. Take a nap and fire the missiles. Uh, the end of the world video. This is a story of Z World. There are videos that I will like quote today, yeah. but for real, like not realizing that I'm quoting a YouTube video from when I was in college. Oh yeah, I do it all. I'm a little tired, like DJ Sins just said. It's from the same video. It's a pretty long video by today's standards. Yeah, but like, remember we would just watch YouTube videos and laugh. Yeah, like kids today don't. And we there were no, only, but kids like, they still do that. I know they do it with TikToks, but like no, they do it with YouTube as well. Everything's long, for, like. There's not like randomly uploaded funny videos on YouTube anymore. Because f- you would upload them to YouTube so you could send them to everyone you knew. It wasn't because you wanted them to go viral. And they were like accidental things or whatever. There's There are still those videos. Oh, what's her name? Who? My whole house is great. Oh, oh and then the there's the, um, I think she was like some Scandinavian oh. girl. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. But um, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, way ho, way ho. That girl. Yeah, that was a good one. I think, yeah, you're right that there were more videos of people just doing normal things that the world found weird, and they probably didn't expect anyone else to watch it. Today, I think we're smart enough to know that if you post something on YouTube, the world does have access to it. Oh, that is a good one. Hide your kids, hide your husbands, hide your wife. That's another good one. The I love turtles. I like, or I like turtles. I saw people who were that kid and the reporter for Halloween and they did the exact scene and it was perfect. So. <sighs> See what's going on. Oh, what I, I quoted to you yesterday and you didn't know what I was talking about until I pulled it up, but it's the, the talking squirrel. Alan, oh, Alan, yeah, yeah. Steve, Steve. I'm familiar with it. I don't know if I ever watched it. Also, Two Girls, One Cup. That was a big one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then the dramatic chipmunk. <laughs> Dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> See, those were, that was like college for me. But it's also, I mean, I feel like kids today have their own version of that. And they're, when they're our age, they're going to be thinking back to their own versions yeah, of they, what we're talking about. Yeah, they're watching it on the little phones. We had it on our YouTube. <laughs> no, they're casting it to their TVs. Fair. So there's that. I did. and I just remember Jager Bombs. I, I like being around my my uh, younger cousins for this one reason. They're always on their phones, but when I see them on their phones, I get annoyed, and then I realize I'm also on my phone, so then I just make everyone get off their phones. So I'm on my phone less when I'm around them because I'm trying to, like, set the example. No one is on their phones more than my parents. Oh, yeah. I mean, when my dad gets home, he will, and it's my mom and my dad will sit by the TV with a show on, like Law & Order or one of those shows, and they're both just scrolling. No one's talking to anyone. They're just scrolling Mm -hmm. for hours. The best part is my dad, he'll sit down to watch TV and he'll open up either Netflix or YouTube TV or something. But you know how there's like the preview videos. He'll sit down, press a couple buttons and get so lost in his phone that he didn't even turn on a show yet. Yeah. 
It's just the preview loop. And they don't even realize that they've listened to the loop 18 times. I would lose my mind. I would realize it because I was editing in the other room when I was there last week. But like my dad, he does love Facebook. And it's so funny when your parents like share things to their Facebook. And also you have to tell them like you probably shouldn't publicly <laughs> share this. He also has two Facebooks because he got locked out of one. I don't. I think my mom has three Facebooks, but that's because she uses them for Candy Crush. Okay. She sends herself points so, from one to the other to the other. That's funny. And she also has, we used to have restaurants. She was, so that was the time where you'd have to, you didn't do a brand page. You would set up a whole new page for a company. And um, she has access oh. to those too. So she sends like yeah, yeah. from Tabula Restaurant in Jersey City. So she sends points for Farmville? Yeah. No, uh, Candy Crush. Remember a while, like, we were still working for Elvis, and we both realized our moms were obsessed, and they were going to, like, 7-Eleven just to get the cups for the points for, for Farmville or whatever it was. Mama, I don't think my mom ever did whatever Farmville. Whatever the one was. Candy Crush, probably. Okay, so these are things that my dad shares on Facebook. Oh, boy. It's a cartoon, like a comic strip, uh -huh. kind of, but on Facebook, okay? It's a doctor. No one's going to be able to see that. Okay, there you go. A doctor and a woman at the office. And he says to the woman, can you touch your toes? And she says, only with my boobs. <laughs> he thought that was funny enough to share on his Facebook. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay. This is from, I don't know, is this like a, a spoof on Star Wars? I don't know. what. Don't read it yet. I, I, I need to see it. Okay. You literally showed it to me it for half matter. a second. It doesn't matter. It's just a guy to a girl. Okay. He says, babe, why don't you ever tell me when you orgasm? And she says, because I don't want to bother you while you're at work. <laughs> why is my dad sharing this? That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> it is funny. Uh. <laughs> Another one. I'm not a cactus expert, but I know a prick when I see one. Can we just start a segment where every day you share a uh, comic strip from Freddy? Okay. Yeah, there's a woman who just clearly had sex with Santa Claus in this one. And she says, next year, how, bring me something bigger. How clearly? Because he's naked and they're in bed together. Oh, yeah. This is all on your dad's page. Yes. <laughs> I haven't looked, like, I haven't. You're not in, like, a, it didn't, like, take you These to These are a, things that Fred shared. Okay. Because sometimes, you know, someone sends you a video, then you have all the other videos that you're watching after it. I thought maybe it was like that. What else we got? No, no, no. We're reading them all? Give me, give me two more. Okay. <laughs> what? I wonder what the filter is at this point. So, first of all, both of my parents are obsessed with this meme in general. Oh, the screaming at the cat meme? They love it's it. It's a great meme. And I think it's because they think it's Caroline. I don't know. <laughs> so, this one is the woman yelling, I'm pregnant. Okay. And the cat, is, or just the response is, Call the baby Target. Everyone had a shot at it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's the next one? Last one. Okay. Uh, and these are all from your dad's page. It's a, it's a banner over a store like in New York City, and it's Legs, the like legging company, L-E-G-G-S. Mm -hmm. And it says, Legs, open as usual. <laughs> uh, Freddy's humor. Freddy's, Freddy's Comic Corner, we're going to call it. I? Doesn't he send you pictures of, like, newspaper yeah, comic newspaper strips? Yeah, newspaper comic strips that are, like, cute. The Family Circus, I get. Like Not Dilbert, this! Like Dilbert? Yeah. Although Dilbert's, like, dead now, right? Yeah. Family Circus, I get. What is fam I've never heard of Family Circus. It's, like, one of the most famous comic strips. Only ones I have. You know Family Circus. I don't it's think so. It's the family. In a circus? Dilbert, I was familiar with. Garfield is... From originally from a comic strip, These right? Guys. You've definitely seen those. Never seen that in my life. That's a comic strip? Yeah. In what? In all the newspapers in America. No. Yes, it is. This whole family? Never seen that in my life. Anyone else here familiar with Family Circus? It's literally debuted in 1960 and has been around ever since. I mean, no, I'm I'm, I'm proud of them. Good you, for them. That's right. You weren't like a real media major. You'd have to read newspapers. No. I actually grew up loving the newspaper. I never Not like reading it. Like, I was just like, comics, thank you. I liked magazines, mainly because I don't like the way newspapers fold. <gasps> I, love I it. hate it. I'm not holding a six by six piece of paper. I'm not Magellan looking for the new world. They're so thin now that there's not that much in them. You're, but you're holding, they're, they're still huge. 
You have to, you it's one fold, no, two fold. But and you you're don't like, have to read it like that. You don't read it all the way across. That's not how newspapers work. So I have to, so every time you want me to read an article in this stupid newspaper, I've got to unfold it and fold it like origami. Yes, it's like an art. No. Don't be mean to me. Origami newspapers. is an art. <laughs> <laughs> newspapers are just words. Don't be You could give me all that same information in a magazine form. Stop it. It's, I'm sure, more don't. expensive to print a I'm magazine. I'm so sensitive about newspapers. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. Uh, Family Circus is a classic, apparently. It is. Sunday Comics and the ads were my favorite. Is Sunday the day for the comics or are comics every day in the paper? Comics are every day, but I think Sunday is, there's more. Sunday is when you get like the Sunday Sunday specials, right? Yeah. Like the the longer pieces are sometimes in the Sunday paper. (laughs) The fluff pieces. We should. Anthony has new gen vibes, just liking on newspapers. Yeah. Wait, okay. But I've, I've never been a fan of newspapers. Again, the, the content's fine. I love learning. Love love knowing things that are going on. Love a good classified ad. We should sign up for the, to get the newspaper. But um, just don't like the way they fold. <laughs> Freddy's Funnies. I love that, Nara. Freddy's Funnies. That's I like a, it. Okay, wait. Audi Swan said something really funny. <laughs> Audi Swan said, my dad liked Carla Marie's bedroom toys post on Instagram, and I've never recovered from it. You know what, though? That 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 like is important. It was probably sponsored. <laughs> we need that interaction, engagement. My friend Lindsay said that um, after I met her future in-laws. They're married now. Um, but his mom went on Instagram and started just following me and going through everything. And Lindsay's like, she's literally watching your vibrator videos in the car with everybody. Like full volume? That's great. Listen, you put it out there. People are going to watch it. That's kind of the whole I mean, point. Yeah. That's why I got paid for him. So. Um, the Daily News is $3.50 according to Wendy from Brooklyn. How much are papers? Aren't they supposed to be like a quarter? Get your papers. Yeah. I'm going to get the papers. Get the papers. So I didn't know. I guess, is it the Bergenite in New Jersey? It's free. Well, I was outside of my niece's house and I was like, do you want me to bring in your newspaper? While she was at the door, she's like, I, okay. And I'm like, what? I'm like, Gab, you're paying for this. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, someone is paying. They don't just give maybe, out free newspapers anymore, but I guess they do. The old residents? Because they had a lot of ads in it. No. So I think I didn't realize. So they don't, they don't care if you actually read it. They just want to be able to tell advertisers, we drop off our paper at, yeah. you know, 8,000 homes every morning or whatever it is. Nara said Seattle Times is $2 at Freddy's. That's not bad. I'm going to start getting the newspaper again. Every day? No, because I'll never read it every day. <laughs> It is a lot of content. I get the weekly roundup on Sundays. Imagine if you had the time to wake up early enough no, but, but that's and read the, thing the paper. People used to. I know. That's because what, they didn't waste it doing other crap. I, that's kind of the point that no, I was getting you were to. making it sound different. But I, that's the point I was going to get to. But also, yes, we do, we do waste a lot of time. But there is more going on today. People have, the world has access to you all the time. Back in the day... If let's say, let's say go back to like when your dad was raising your family, Mm -hmm. he didn't have to worry about his office reaching out to him at all hours of the day or different relatives reaching out whenever they felt the need to and sending him memes. No. Imagine if he had, if Freddie had to get text messages or letters from all of his friends with their favorite newspaper clippings. He, but he does now. Now he does. But. To be fair, growing up, our phone would ring off really? the hook because I'd say by the time I was eight, my dad was a manager. Okay. So if he wasn't working, there was either either another manager or someone below him there, and they would always call him with issues. And my and this is where like I think about this growing up. My mom also worked in the same office, so every dinner would be talking about work. Yeah. Because if they didn't see each other, they worked different schedules, they would always be talking about work. And it's not like they were, like, solving the world's problems. They were working at Meadowlands Racetrack. Race track, yeah. So it would be like, oh, this happened, or this, or this drawer was short, or whatever. And it got to a point one day, I remember, like, I would be able to recite their coworkers' full names. <laughs> and I was also like, guys, can we just not talk about work at dinner for, like, once? You said that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was probably 12 at that point, or 13, being a bitch. Being an a-hole, yeah. But I think about, like, now... That has, we're like not, we're the same way. And obviously we've had different forms of work, but 
like it's the same thing of like you're taking it yeah. home. But I also think it's just everyone has access to you. That's that's but one of that, the reasons yes. we feel like we don't have any time. It's we waste a lot of time obviously on social media apps and websites, but because everyone has access to you, you're getting everyone everyone you know the second they think of you can reach out to you, which is sometimes a beautiful thing. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it can take, it can really be distracting if you're not careful about protecting your own time, right? You end up in 18 different group chats and they're all going all day. Think about your, your group chat with your family. It actually slows down. It slowed down ever since my sister had the baby because she has other stuff to do. (laughs) Instead of just firing off in a group chat. Every once in a while, it'll, it'll pop off, but. No, I think that's one of the reasons I love that my group chats and part of it's because I'm an Android user. Um, most of my group chats with my friends are in Instagram. Instagram. So unless I open Instagram, I'm not getting the Cause I don't have notifications on. Mm-hmm. Whereas if it was in my text messages, like the only real group chat that I'm in text wise is the content kittens. Yeah. Me, I, you, John, Ricky, Erica, and Jake. I have my phone on no sounds ever. Mm-hmm. Um, if my phone makes a sound, I'm like, Oh God, what happened? No sounds, no notifications. Constantly do not disturb. I don't want it. Please don't contact me. Yeah. I still pick it up and I'm on it. Yeah. So I think I need to add spikes to it. <laughs> Just make your phone case gigantic so it's really. Yeah, then my hands are going to hurt. But you'll use your phone less. No, it'll, my hand will expand probably. Um, yeah, and even my group chat with my brothers is in Discord so I can mute that. And not that I can't mute my text messages. I'm just less likely to do that. Because for some reason, I, I always think that someone's going to need to get in touch with me. And then I think about it. The only person who I could actually respond to and help is you. Because I think, oh, what if, what if my mom needs to reach out to me? You don't even answer when I call. Sometimes I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then I think sometimes, oh, what if my mom needs to reach out to me? And then my own rebuttal to myself is. So call me. <laughs> no. What would, what would I help her with? What if she just wants to, like, God forbid, it's like, I need to say goodbye to Anthony. There's voicemail. Text. Voice memo direct to my phone and I could keep it forever instead of that fleeting moment where I hang up and now it's gone and I can never hear my mom's voice again. Okay. Note to everyone, if you're going to die, leave a voice memo. Uh, your brother them. Justin said, wasn't your voicemail in high school something like, if it's an emergency, don't call me, call 911? Something like that. And now my voicemail, I think, is please do not leave me a it voicemail, is. just text me. It is. Like, I'm not going to listen to your voicemail. It is. And you know what? Mine is a random I don't get voicemails anymore. With an accent. I think it's like, you can't reach it gets the automated one, but I think I have them set to Australian and everyone gets Colleen text me one day. It was like, what is your voicemail? I'm like, what? She's like, it's a man. And I'm like, what? Don't, and then it freaks everyone out. And they don't leave a voicemail. That's good. Either way. Although, okay. I'll hate on voicemails. Yeah. But I have voicemails from my grandma wishing me happy birthday. Yeah. So like. I have, some, I have voicemails from when my two cousins were really, really little. Look at these. Wishing me happy birthday. Even my cousin George, who's now getting married within the next year. That's crazy. I have a, a voicemail from him when he was probably like eight years old. Yeah, look. 30 second voice. No, that's my cousin's. My grandma. 12 seconds. March 5th, 2012. Yeah, but I think we're all smart enough to know some of them can be cute. But if you're an adult, there's no need to leave a voicemail. You should go through your voicemails. Because if I am calling you from the car and I can't hang up in time, I'll just be like, oh, you're so annoying. Goodbye. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm There's not a lot that. of me just yelling at you on there. Not doing it. My brother. Because I, because I want my voicemail to be full. I want to. I want to get. I might just start leaving myself voicemails. That way, no one can leave me voicemails. I'll just fill it up. I don't know how many it takes to fill up a voicemail. Okay, this is. Tw- oh, exact. 2013, exactly 10 years ago, November. Where do you hear from? Not there. <laughs> the ear. Let's put it on speaker. All of them. This is your father. But I can't get it on. My dad would say, my dad would introduce himself on voicemails (laughs) with his first name and then follow up with your dad. (laughs) Is George your dad? Yeah. (laughs) Because I think what he does is he, he forgets he's leaving me a voicemail for a second and he'll think it's for like a customer or a, a distributor for work. So he'll start normally with it's George, which is how obviously he introduces himself all the time. Right. And then he'll catch himself like your dad. (laughs) 
<laughs> your brother Justin said there's a 20 second delay between those lines though yes yeah and then he usually doesn't hang up he'll just start talking to whoever is in front of him so then you hear half of that discussion as well so funny though see I am glad to have it for those things okay there is something that I wrote on the list that I wanted to talk about today yeah okay men are children yes and I'm not gonna say all men just most, and I will I will say probably the boomer generation the most. Okay. And I was at the um, imaging clinic the other day waiting for my scan on my heart. I don't have okay. my results yet, but I'm sitting there, and I'm filling out my paperwork. Across from me, I think they're in their late 60s, a couple, a woman, and a man. She's filling out paperwork. Okay. For him. I am now list. I know. Wait. Wait. Okay. It's left hip or right hip? Left hip. Okay. Um, do you have pain in your butt when you sit down? No. All of it. And then, like, every single question. And then she's getting to the ones, like, could you be pregnant? And she's asking them out loud as a joke. And he's like, no. Are you going through fertility? No. Uh, and he's, like, laughing. And I'm like, well, I sure hope no one else here is. Because you're making jokes. And if someone is going through this. You said this? No. Oh. Okay, I mean, it when like I you tell did. you this went on for five minutes, this man, you know what he was doing? No, no, yeah, yeah, no, not, oh, I don't know. On his phone, scrolling. And listen, uh, doing it out loud obviously is very annoying, but I will say this. No. Hold on. There is no. No, just listen for a, for a moment. Just listen. One of the most annoying things about tearing my Achilles. No, this is different. Was Carla Marie. <laughs> now, let me explain. I appreciate all of the help that Carla Marie yes. gave me throughout my injury. But Carla Marie made it a point to come to almost every appointment with me. Yep. Come into every yep. room with me and start answering questions for uh -huh. me. Yeah. Carla Marie. Well, you didn't know the dates. I literally had to look at Carla Marie at one point. I forgot which doctor it was. And I was like. Because <laughs> you didn't know the date. I can add. But, but what I'm trying to say is there are times. Okay. Like Carla Marie where women will come in. And, and force themselves into that situation. I think there's oftentimes also like my dad where he's just, mm -hmm. just not going to do paperwork. So that's probably No, your what... mom told me that she will not go to the doctor with your dad for now. Now she doesn't, yeah. So, and I said that like my mom fully enables my dad in yes. these situations. Because I feel like she probably doesn't trust that he's actually going to write the truth down. But, because men, yes. But I think that this man specifically was just like, I'm not doing it unless you do it kind of thing. No, I think there's, like Scotty said it, I think he, he at some point in his life just gave up because if his wife was anything like you, yeah. when I had, when I tore my Achilles at some point, you're like, I'm just, okay. I, but I think when you're going to the doctor for like important things, you should always bring someone with you. If you can someone silent because preferably. for example, when I, the dog bit my finger and I went in to the urgent care, I, Olivia was with me and I said, can you come in with me? She's like, okay. So she's in the room with me, and there were questions that I didn't think to ask that she asked the doctor mm -hmm. in that moment. And I because that's like a traumatic thing that you're going through in that moment, yeah. And I, I, I really do think it's important if it's not something you're like, you know, trying to hide, obviously, or whatever, mm -hmm. that you have someone else there with you because in those moments you don't remember things. I mean, I even went for my physical and completely forgot to bring up things to Doctor A that I almost wish like I had someone with me so that I could be like. Whatever. Yeah. My parents schedule all their doctor's appointments back to back and just do it in one room. I mean, they're probably going together anyway. It's just it makes easier. sense, yeah. But I was just watching this and I was like, women, I will give it, I will say this, we enable it. We, and I mean women before us, enabled You're this. part of the problem. We mothered men and let them get away with it. How I many, didn't mother you. No, no, no. But how many times, be honest with yourself, yeah. how many times in a day do I have to go, Carla Marie, I can do this. Please stop. But you don't do it. That's I, no, no. You can, but do you? And I do, oftentimes. Okay. This is about the man and his paperwork, uh, not you. And I made it very clear that you're not like that. I'm not. And because I like doing things on my own. But there's just that older generation of men cannot function unless a woman is doing yeah. their whole life yeah. for them. And there was a time where generally... Typically, the man would go out to work. The, the the woman would handle everything in the house, right? And that probably transfers over at some point when you look at grandfathers and grandmothers and the way that they work with one another. Like yeah. my grandmother, 
had random jobs, I think, at times to just help pay the bills when they first moved to America. But generally speaking, when you've got 10 kids, someone's staying home with all the kids. Yeah. Someone's going to go out. My, my grandfather daycare. did, he was a contractor, did actual construction. So, and this is again before cell phones and whatnot. So he wasn't going to be doing office type things. So my grandmother handled all of that while he went out. So to a degree, yeah, there, are there are roles. And at some point you just grow into them and you're never going to grow out of them. Which means that at some point, the man in that relationship is doing nothing once they both retire. Maybe th some things around the house, but his life gets a lot easier while hers just continues, continues to, to be annoying. To mother yeah. and grandmother. <laughs> uh, let's no, see. Older generation, you. yes. Uh, I'm not my dad. I often feel for my mom and what she's dealt with. Love my dad, but oh boy. <laughs> I think that's what 99% of people in the world <laughs> would, say. would have that just same exact response. <laughs> Love my dad, but oh boy. <laughs> but oh boy. Seriously. Um, it is going to be time for us to get out of here in a second. Um, but I did want to bring up one thing. And I don't know if we're allowed to talk about it yet, so I'm just going to I'll tread lightly. Uh, we do have some things that we're going to be doing on this show in terms of giveaways. Do we want to talk about those oh, yet? Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. So I didn't get in trouble. Well, we'll just do the one for Monday. Okay. Okay. So. Just say it. <laughs> We're going to be giving away tickets to see the Rolling Stones at Lumen Field here in Seattle. Yeah. We're doing that giveaway on Monday during this show. Uh, we're not sure exactly what time, but you will likely have to be here to win them. Yes, you'll, you'll have to be in the stream to win. Yeah, we're not, like, if you're not here. Nope. No. You got to be in the stream. We'll give yeah. you the times and everything on Monday. You'll be able to start entering to win through the chat, basically, as soon as the show starts. Uh, but you will have to be here when we are drawing names. If you are not, you do not win. Yes. And I believe I have like a gift pack of things too from Rolling Stone. So that'll Sweet. be cool. Um, now we do need to figure out what if they're not from Seattle? Because the only thing I get concerned with is that people can't go and then we're stuck finding someone or they're selling them and you legally, they can't sell them. Yeah. Because you don't, I don't think you get the tickets till like day of. Yeah. So. I think you have to be in Seattle. Yeah. Or at least confirm that you will 100% be at the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you aren't at the show, we'll ban you from life from mm -hmm. the stream. Mm -hmm. 100%. Sucker. But, yeah, that's the big announcement. Yeah. What were you staring at there? I was just trying to read some oh. things. All right. Well, we are now out of here. Thank you very much for uh -huh. hanging out with us. Don't forget, there is a new episode of the Morning Show podcast. You can listen to that wherever you get your shows. And we'll be back here on Twitch on Monday. Carla Marie? I'm, I'm looking up the... When they are here. Oh. It's in the summer. Oh, no? Wednesday, May 15th. There you go. So I'll it's still a while away, but I mean, that show is going to sell out. Oh, my God. So. It'll be so fun. Later. Good luck drawing you out.